Hi, I'm EJ, and this is Cryptography, where we unlock crypto for the masses. Today, we're looking at smart contracts, one of the most widely used applications in the blockchain. Now, you may have heard of smart contracts when people say that Ethereum and Tezos have their own native support for smart contracts where Bitcoin doesn't, and I'm here to sort of demystify that a bit. So what is a smart contract? Well, it's an agreement with built-in declarative logic. And to simplify that a little bit, all I want you to think about is it being a computer program mixed with a real life agreement. Like it could be your loan payment on your car, your mortgage or your, your house papers, or it could even be a betting contract, but it's just computerized. So as I said, a lot of things can be automated into smart contracts from betting, marriage contracts, payroll, real estate, supply chain, really the sky's the limit. If you can think of the, of the logic, or if you can think of a state where you want to have a contract, you can make it into a smart contract. And the big thing with smart contracts is that they take the power away from the middleman. Typically, if you want to go buy a home, you need to go through a process of lawyers, notaries, financiers, and there's all these middlemen that really slow down the process. But with smart contracts, you can do that all on your own, as long as you can program or create and think of the logic yourself. So that leads me to why. Why smart contracts? Well, first off, they really facilitate this idea of decentralization. And all that means is that you're not going through some sort of central body or entity to reach the end. You're just, facilit you're just working with somebody on the end, peer-to-peer -peer communication. So that means you're not going through Bank of America for your money, you're not going through Google to get information, and you're not going through Amazon to buy that part from somebody who's in Minnesota. You're just dealing with the person in Minnesota. And so because of that, because there's no middleman, it's a lot faster, it's a lot cheaper, and because the blockchain is so encrypted and secure, well, it's more secure. And ultimately, it allows for really complex agreements. In the future, it's not unheard of that we can think of things like, I don't know, multi-buy real estate, where a bunch of people get into a, a certain plot of land and, and they just want to kind of shuffle the assets around and share, sell a little bit of their piece. And smart contracts really allow you to do that. They, allow, they really allow for complex logic that inherent laws and real world things weren't made to handle. So yeah, that's a bit of smart contracts. Uh, here at Cryptography, we encourage an open discussion and would love to hear from you. So please like, subscribe, and comment below. And please leave your feedback. We'd love to, we'd love to see if there's anything else we can clarify. Thanks.